guys, it's me, Caroline, coming to you from MC Beaters. And I thought I would do a little project share right now. Um, you know how I purchased these lovely um, marbles and, um, I forgot what you call these again, um, to hold pendants. Well, I have decided that I'm gonna make some cute, easy, simple pendant chokers. Um, using some of the beautiful, beautiful paper that was gifted to me from Veronica, from Veronica A, her channel. Um, and maybe I'll put some pendants um, on just some other chokers without using these, and we'll see where this takes us. Beautiful marbles that I purchased, kind of like glass cabochons before decorating. And these are the holders for it. And here is my diamond glaze. So I am going to find something that I like, which is like this whole page, and I'm going to place it over one of the beautiful little roses. And then I will show you what I'm gonna do from there. Okay, so far I put these two glass flat beads over this. And I also am gonna use, oh, everything's flying, this mini scrapbook kit that was gifted to me from Lori. Uh, I, I thank you, Lori, so much. And I just, I, I open this up and I just see so many pretty things I can do with this. And I love this scrapbook kit. So I might steal some little papers from in here. And I also have some leftover scraps so I could, you know, use whatever's in my stash to make some of these necklaces. I never throw out any of my um, scrapbook paper. And then I bought this magazine about a month ago and it had some pretty paper in here. Um, so I think I'm gonna use this as well. If I could find the paper that was in here. Um, you know, it's not so bad. Well, that's pretty, I like that. Okay, so let's see what where this takes me. fun little kit that Lori gifted to me. Oh my goodness, it has in it. Look at these cute stickers and the little tags and the buttons. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a little notepad. Oh, I love this. You know what, I'm gonna be putting this stuff in my planner actually. I'm gonna put my notepads in there. I'm gonna use some of these stickers, these little tags. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna see what kind of paper. That's really, really, really pretty shabby chic paper. And she knows that I like this. Okay, while I wait for these to dry, I'm gonna start putting some of the other pendants, such as these, um, and maybe some beads, and see where this takes me. Okay, so I cut out everything a little bit around each piece of glass and they are really drying quite quickly. So once they are completely dry, I will cut them out and then use some more diamond glaze and put them inside the pendant holder. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys, these are the gold tone chokers that I found at Michael's. And these are the silver tone chokers that I found. I love that. I love this type of class. And these I actually also found in clearance. And the way these open is you just push and open like that. Um, I ordered these online um, for, for the uh, glass pendants, but I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna use these. And see how simple this came out? 
Really, really super simple. And it looks really, I don't know, very modern-like. I like how that came out. Very simple to make and it looks really pretty on. I love chokers. And here is that other super fun turquoise choker I made using those tuber, tubing spacer beads. And so easy and it's so pretty to wear. I love turquoise. So that's my second one. And I think my little glass marbles are ready to cut out and get started. What I'll be doing now is using some rubbing alcohol to clean the diamond glaze off of whatever came on top of that I mistakenly got on top of my little pendants so that this way they are not cloudy looking. And I'll be doing that on each of these. And now I am just going to be putting my glossy, not my glossy accent, my diamond glaze just a drop in each and then you spread it around just like I'm doing here. And then you carefully drop your pendant in. Okay, just to give you a few different ideas, here is the uh, pendants on the leather black cord. So this is one look. And here they are on the choker, the metal choker. And here is another look. And then of course those other chokers that I made. So this was a super easy, easy um, project to do, you know, for craft fairs or just, you know, for jewelry making for yourself or to gift to someone else. Now I'm going to show you how I display my necklaces for the craft fair. And this is how I display it. I purchased one of these room dividers and it comes with some shelving. So I also, I got this from Amazon. And I believe it was like $100. And I also purchased a set of six of these um, necklace displays um, to display my necklaces. This I had already purchased at Michael's and I'm probably gonna get a few more. Um, this I had, I don't like how it looks, so I'm probably, probably going to purchase more of these. And this is how I will display them. I think I'm going to hang my earrings also from it. This way I can alleviate um, a big rectangular table at craft fairs. So thanks for watching guys. Have a blessed Thursday. Bye.